Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of day again. Time for a new rule and um Yeah you can see that the wheel is still quite full, so let's see what there's a couple that I don't want. And if one of them comes up you'll know because I put please no <laughs> into the rule itself. So let's see what the wheel decides is going to be mean to us today. Animal stats must be kept above 50%. That's fine! That's... that's actually fine. Um... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Because Seasons is health, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify that slightly and make it animal health. Um... Just so that there's a one very easy way of fi figuring it out, because there's not really a 50% marker anywhere on the the animal stats. So I'm going to change that slightly to be animal health. We'll do that. That's not going to be too difficult. So uh, let's hop into game and get some work done. It's a brand new day in game and uh, that means we need to take care of the animals. So we got, we got, well, we got to take care of the sheep anyway. We've got the uh, little husk varna ready to go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to detach the little trailer for that. Because you shouldn't need it. Uh, the sheep just need to be cleaned out today. I just had a look. Um, they could do with some water, but I think they'll be fine. Uh, they'll be, you know, they're at 78% uh, health, so that's above 50%. I don't know quite how to get them to 100. I think it's got something to do with there I guess the amount of uh, water and grass they have it looked like there was a lot more it might have something to do with the little tiny blob of grass that's down here unless the dirt area is somehow underground which I guess is possible but it looks like we've got all the grass cleaned up from the dirt area sure why the cleanliness is still being ranked as zero. I'm gonna count that as clean, even though the game's insisting it's zero right now. I think it's something to do with just the amount of time passing. Um, now the next job is basically we need to grab some stuff. I'm gonna leave the trailer there because it looks ridiculous on the, if I bring both the Husqvarna with the teeny tiny front loader, which somebody claimed was unrealistic, but I did some googling and people actually make front loaders for lawnmowers. I'm not entirely sure why, but they do. So, uh, I'm gonna count that as vague realism. Even though this challenge isn't about realism. None of my challenges are ever about realism, but people seem to insist on sticking realism into them. Saying, oh, that's not that's not realistic. Well, of course it's not because it's it's a challenge. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to be a different way to play the game. Uh, hopefully, by the way, my voice isn't the spawn of Satan today. I did hear you guys complaining about the voice, uh, the audio in yesterday's video, and I think I know what the problem was, I think I've got it sorted, but I can't be 100% sure until um, I get the video rendered out. Um, so hopefully I've got it fixed now. Let's put this, this is going to be the trailer story, shit I've decided. Let's put that away. We'll go get the little tiny more or the little tiny trailer for the Husqvarna real quick as I move a can of coke because I've just had a delicious takeaway. So let's grab the, the teeny tiny trailer from the Husqvarna, which uh, 
Hopefully he will attach to the Ford with no problems. I have never tried this and I don't think I've even seen Landy try this, so... This could be fun, this could do something weird, let's find out. It's done something weird. I'm pretty sure that's not how trailers work. <laughs> but it's... I mean, we don't need to worry about backing it up because it's so ridiculously high that I don't think you can swing. Oh, it can. And how. Wow, okay. It, ju it just... It only wants to swing. I mean, it doesn't particularly matter where I park that because it's only really going to use it the lawnmower. Right, next job is uh, we need to grab. Uh, there's no rule against me doing this, so I'm going to do it this way. There's lots of suggestions. Um, I'm redoing this, but it's not a rule yet. I need to grab this. And I'm going to want to potentially change the wheels, but I, I'll, I'll make do with these wheels. And we're going to head over to fields 3 and 38. And get, the, get them fully fertilized today. They need to be sprayed with some... A mix of fertilizer and pesticide, or herbicide, uh, herbalizer, as I want to call it today, and um, that'll get our crops sorted pretty much until autumn when we'll be harvesting. Um, the first set of sides should be done in a couple of days, in game days. Uh, I just want to check real quick. Do I have? I do have crop destruction on. Okay, just wanted to try to double check that. Um, so it looks like the wheel is not updating properly, and I've just realised that I forgot to actually update the wheel before I spawn it. So the rule suggestions from yesterday's video weren't actually in the wheel. I apologise for that. And the rule suggestions that I removed from the wheel because they'd already been selected. For some reason, that's not working correctly. Um, we're also still in the wheel. If ever there comes a time when a rule comes up twice, I'll just respin the wheel. Because um, that means something's gone wrong. So, for the people who want to tram lines, here come some tram lines. Some very, very bad tram lines. Because I could put care wheels on, but I can't be bothered. So manual tram lining all the way. I could and probably should have used Proceed to put the tram lines in. Um, I might do that for the next uh, next set of crops I put in. I'll just use Proceed and get that all in nicely. The rules are being kind of a mix of very nice and very mean. Yesterday's rule was incredibly mean and I was genuinely angry about it. Today's rule? I don't mind. Because that actually mixes well with the um, sorting the animals at the beginning of the day thing. That just gives me a time period where I boost the animals for the day to, fit to um, as high as I can get them health-wise. And that's that sorted. Um, and by the way, the beginning of the day I'm going to count as the beginning of the in-game day, not just at the start of every stream or the start of every video, because otherwise the videos would slowly degrade into animal, 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 and then like five minutes of um, field work. I want to do field work in the videos, so I'm, I'm going to kind of tweak that rule a small bit. So the... Um, Basically, it, it, it doesn't degrade the videos into more and more and more animal work over time. Um, and it may even be, it may even, like, um, change it up, so, change over time that I do the animal work off camera and just say, okay, the animals are sorted at the beginning of the in-game day, because sometimes animal work can be very boring and it's going to be very fun during the winter. Uh, seeing as the bloomin' silage rule changed mid-spring when I already had silage. Um, fermenting, silage bales fermenting 
um, which I have sold off. They were literally worthless because they were still um, grass bales, which is very, actually very useful that they were worthless because I was trying to cheat and the g seasons prevented me from doing so. Seasons said, "No, Dave, you, you can't do that. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna let you do that, Dave. You can't cheat, Dave." I know what you're trying to do, but no. Um, so we've got the pit silage fermenting, the first cut pit silage. The reason that I'm only fermenting first cut is so that I get silage as quickly as I can. There's 100,000 litres there that should see us through the winter. Even with, I think, up to about 10 cows, we should be fine. Um, if we do start running low on silage, yes, I will have to get some silage bales in. I'll have to use the buy bales mod, buy some silage bales. Um... And that's literally just so that I can not have animals dying daily. Um, you know, with, with some of these rules, I will have to make concessions and break them. Uh, just so that, you know, there's no contradiction with other rules. So, the no size bales rule is basically I'm not allowed to make them or, where possible, use them. If you know, I run out of silage mid-winter and I have to use buy bales mod to buy in silage bales. I'm obviously going to do it because I'm not going to just let my animals starve. You know, I'm not going to let my animals go. I'm not going to br break the um, the animal sorting rules to suit another rule. So there's going to have to be... is going to be feel for um, which I pr probably for today but I don't want to do grass work until late summer so I'm going to hold off until then and just see how things look um, towards the end of summer uh, hay we should be good for because there's only one way I can do hay and that's in bales uh, Crumble has suggested the, that I only use Hessens. I really want to use the Quadrant, but that rule is in the wheel. Well, will be in the wheel uh, when I update the wheel. I genuinely forgot to uh, before I started recording. Um, because I keep forgetting there's like a button I have to press to update the wheel. And it's uh, something that I just keep forgetting to press. I even don't know when I was just tweaking things off, like, off camera, just doing some tests, just keep forgetting to do it. Um, so I'll need to do that immediately after finishing this video. The people who insisted on tram lines and crop destruction are probably quite happy that I'm crop destroying into tram lines. Um, which are no way straight, so Every Rainbow Day trope is happening right now. Um, <laughs> hopefully we've got enough fertilizer to finish this field, by the way. I'm not entirely sure we do. Um, if we don't, that's kind of fine. I'll just backtrack out of the field, go to an infinite source of fertilizer, and make do. Um, hope, I hope... Yeah, just, it's just occurred to me, I hope giants have two different kinds of fertilizer available in FS19 because herbicide is going to be a thing. I hope you can still spray fertilizer because that is a thing that you do in real life. Um, it goes straight into the plant through the leaves as opposed to through the roots. So, you know, I, I hope that there is still spray fertilizer as well as herbicide. It's two different palettes you have to buy instead of just like magical liquid palettes. Um, I wouldn't argue with, but they would be kind of silly. So we got 15% left and more than 15% of the field to do. So yeah, we're probably going to need to bring this over to the yard and refill it um, before we finish this field.
Hope you guys are still enjoying the series, by the way. I see a lot of comments that, well, in the last video, what's wrong with your voice? But a lot of comments and streams that, dude, this is such a cool series, it's a good idea, really love it and all that. And I, I genuinely love seeing those comments. Um, because it means I'm doing, basically doing my job right. I'm entertaining you guys, I'm doing interesting content, stuff that you guys want to watch, and uh, stuff that's different from what you'd see on other channels. You know, yes, I do a lot of challenges, but I'm not doing the same challenge over and over. I'm not doing, um, as some channels do, constant role plays, constant whatever. I try and change things up and change how the dynamic works with every challenge that I do. Uh, I may regurg I might bring back one of these challenges in FS19 just to see if they're still possible. Um, but it's, you know, I try and change things up every, every series I do. Uh, just so that it's fresh for me as well as you guys. Um, but when it comes to the challenges, and when it comes to a lot of the stuff that I try and do that's different and weird, I try and change it up every time. So, we need to gra grade. Yes, we need to grade our papers. Uh, they're all fails. I'm sorry, everybody's failed. Um, we need to grab a liquid fertilizer, which uh, means we've got to go into the middle of the yard there and just refill. So we'll pull up here and reverse in. Just freeze. So I'm afraid or kind of apprehensive about a few rules. One of them is first person only, which would basically mean um, I'd need to use my track at all the time or in streams, like wave the mouse around a lot. Um, which is fine by me, because I tend to do it anyway. Um, but first person only be a bit painful. It might get very old very quickly, because I know a lot of people want to see a mix of first and third person, you know. Me going in with, um... Ooh! Have I screwed up the... I have screwed up the amount of visible mirrors, apparently. I apologize. I swear I had it set to five, not two. I'll, uh... I'll fix that after this video. That's not supposed to be a thing that happens. So one, two, three, four, four passes and a headland done with the sprayer. Um, which, by the way, I've just realized there's a rule in that says everything has to be under 6 meters. Spares are also uh, would, would also be exempt for that rule uh, that's in the wheel. I need to tweak it slightly just to allow me to use a sprayer and fertilizer sprayer, actually. I'll make rid of that rule because it makes no sense because there'd be so many exceptions. Uh, it would basically apply only to combines, plows cedars and cultivators and you wouldn't e I wouldn't even want a six meter plow on this map so we combine cedars and cultivators that's not really a rule that's just a strange limitation that we placed on me um, so I think I might remove that rule for the list just because it would make no sense and there'd be so there'd be more exceptions to the rule than there would be stuff affected by it so I think I'll, I'll um, just wipe that one off the list. Uh, another rule that got wiped, and I did put it into the comments just before recording this, uh, somebody, somebody said, I'm not allowed to do forage wagon silage. Which is a hard no for me because that's basically, oh you've got to use... He basically made up a bunch of rules that were, oh you've got to do silage in this one very particular way. At which point I said, no, that's not how the series is going to work. I need to have variety. I, I really do, because otherwise I'll just end up making like the same 10 videos constantly, and I'll hate myself, and you'll hate the series, and everybody will be bored. Um, I need variety so that I can at least change up we'll see how I spray. How I Spraying has been done one way, that's just the way spraying works. Uh, spraying pretty much has been done one way. Sorry, sorry for the little jump cut there where um, I lost quite a bit of... Uh, the, the, the fertilizer. I was being handed tea and cake. Um, but trying to force me into doing things one particular way, the rules will just be rejected because I need to have variety. 
Uh, number one, so that I can do things differently. Number two, so that you guys don't end up having to watch the same, like, ten videos constantly. It's a complaint that I've had about other channels. Um, like, I feel like Dagoin's subscribers do this to him a lot, and it annoys me that they do it to him. I feel sorry for him for it, that they insist on things being done, like, one or two very particular ways. Or else somebody's angry or somebody else is angry, and even when he does it the one particular way that pleases most people, there's still people angry. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm going to do things differently and try and do them differently as much as I can. Um, so any rules that'll just basically be, hey, do this in this one particular way, uh, no. I don't mind playing with limitations. Um, but when the limitations are such that I can only do things with a far, you know, where right now with the size limitation, I can do far dragon sideage. I can use a profi hopper for all that matters. Um, I wouldn't, but I could. I could use the uh, Husqvarna. I could use um, direct cut foraging. I could use trailed foraging. I could use. Uh, mow windrow and then forage with the big X or something, or more likely the New Holland. You know, there's options there for me, whereas if it was, if I wasn't allowed to use forage wagons, that cuts out about half the options I have, and that's just not interesting anymore. For me, at least. Um, and I get why some people want things done in a very specific way, it's because the, that's the way they play, it's not the way this challenge works, though. Um, and it's not the way that I play. I play these challenges to try and play differently and think differently in the game. Um, which is kind of the reason that I'm using Seasons and BJ Extension and all these uh, little script mods that just change up, you know, one or two mechanics that you get so used to. Um, like with the BGA extension, I'm so used to just being able to go to the BGA straight away with all of the grass silage ever and get like a million dollars. Like, I can't do that because it costs 240 the BGA started in the first place and that's money I don't have. That field is a mess. That field is an unmitigated disaster. I maybe should put care wheels on the Ford. Maybe, but I'm not going to. Um, so off to field 38 we go. We're not gonna, we're gonna get a headland done, but that's gonna be about it for the video. Um, and we'll finish it off during the stream. Uh, probably as well during the stream, if there is one today. Need to forward with some people about, um, their plans for today. Uh, I may give up an hour to one person and the second hour to somebody else. Um, because they have little times when they can stream, and I don't want to leave them feeling like they're so limited they can't stream, or something like that. I want them to be able to stream, and I want you guys to be able to watch that as well. Um, so if there's no if there's no stream today, um, consider it a charitable donation, I guess, or just kind of me taking a semi day off and having people available to fill in. Because I'll still record for tomorrow. I'll still record tomorrow's video. I'll still do everything else as normal. Um, it's just the stuff that I really, 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 really need to get done, and I keep having to put it off because I need to record or I need to stream or I need to sort something out. And that's why yesterday's video was a mess. It's because I was trying to rush everything because it was like 10 o'clock at night and I was super tired and I didn't put enough time or effort in. Unfortunately, is there a fertilizer trigger down here? By the way, there must be. There is, hey. Uh, let's end the field, not here, but over here. So I think this is a bit more useful. We are running low on time, I'm just gonna do the one headland on this field and then we'll call it a video. Uh, Cause I've got tea and cake to have, while uh, everything sorts itself out. I will actually probably finish this off camera. I know I just said that I'd do it on, in tomorrow's stream, or in today's stream, but I think just so that I'm not continuing jobs constantly in stream, like, I'm gonna just finish this off camera, because it is a small field, it's not gonna take too, too long. Um, I mean, you can see the headland here is taking up pretty much half the space as is. So, 
It's not going to be the end of the world if you don't see me finishing a field. I mean, you'll, you'll know that it's done manually because everything will be wonky. You know that I can't drive in a straight line to save my life. Um, there is the famous fox of Scatterbrook Farm, by the way. People keep pointing it out to me that there's a fox that I'm fully aware of. I'm pretty sure I pointed it out in my first look. Um, <laughs> there are a few floating rocks around here. Oxy... I did my best to get rid of them. I did my best to find all the floaties, but I, ca I missed a few, apparently. So you can blame me for the floaty stuff. Don't blame Oxy, blame me. I'm the, I'm the idiot who can take blame for that. Um, but make sure and let Oxy know about them. <laughs> uh, also, a known issue that you can't really see now because I got traffic turned off, but there is a known issue right here. This bridge has no um, reflection because the collision mask isn't correct. Um, that's an only issue that's going to be fixed in the upcoming update. Um, and it's mainly kind of small things that are getting fixed in the update. You know, there's nothing huge, luckily, um, other than the bizarre seasons bug that was found. Um, I wouldn't even count. I'd actually count that as a seasons bug and not a problem with the map, personally. Because it's a, a bug that was until now not even known to be a thing with seasons. Um, so it's kind of useful to know that. It, something that nobody really thought about. What if, you, what if you have things in the seasons XML that aren't in the actual map? It turns out that breaks things. Um, quite badly if you try and use placeables. And one thing I do need to do, speaking of placeables is I need to get myself a power washer, because I don't have one yet, and I don't think... I said, speaking of placeables, I need to get a power washer. I don't think I'm going to get the placeable one, I think I'm going to get the trail, the trailer one. Um, just because it's kind of cool, I kind of like it. Kind of prefer, I actually kind of prefer it. It's, um... You know, not more of the same. So, might well use that. And I know I rarely get power washers, I usually just use creator tools, but I feel like uh, a rule that I might just put in, a hard rule, um, that doesn't even need to be pulled out of the, the wheel is no using creator tools to magically clean tractors. Um, <laughs> But that is going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will uh, leave you now by saying I've been Ray Dave. You've been watching the Crowdsource Challenge in Farming Simulator 17 on Shamrock Valley. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave your comments, thoughts, likes and stuff and subscribes and things. Yeah. Until next time, stay safe. And goodbye.